what's up guys uh end of february there's some really big sheep's head hanging around i got joseph here with me today we're gonna see if we can put one on board let's get started okay okay Hooker. Yeah, I do. That little circle is buried in the corner of this lip. Circle hook. Yes, sir. All right. Learn something from your kids. <laughs> That's a pretty one. Twelve to the fork. Oh, he's bigger than that. Thirteen. Yeah. You're just about to keep three or four of them. All right. Have some fresh ones. Yeah, man. Nice. I knew these fish were here. Yes, sir. And that was on a small hole crab without the claws. You get that lighter set up. What pound line you got on there? Uh, 30 pound, 30 pound. It's not too light. I mean, it still looks a medium, medium, medium. There he was. Woo! <laughs> to it. That was a big crab too. <laughs> I'm telling you that water is hot. It's crazy. It's from like those two days of it was like 80 degrees. It was more two days. Or maybe it got up to 80 for two in a row, but it was warm all last week. There he is. There he is. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. Oh my God. There he is. That's a pretty one. Let's go. Oh. He came off the hook. Did he really? Yeah. Oh. On the little hook? Yeah, he was on the little hook. On the floater, heck yeah. That's a nice sheep's head there. Oh, man. There's some bigger ones down there, but that's a good one. February. Well, they catch him in Florida. That's a perfect eating sauce. 16 and a quarter. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. They're tricky. The, the, they pick it up and kind of like... He picked the carapace off the top of the bait. Well, he probably had it in his mouth and when you pulled yeah. it, that's what came off. Cause it's like they're, they they kind of pick it, they suck it in, they, they swim with it. And you just well, kind of... it's tricky because like, I let the other one have it too long and he went up under in that crap. Yeah. It's like you, get, you wait like 15 minutes for a bite, but when you get one, it's like usually a really yeah, good... Really good fish. Okay. I'm feeding one down there right now. Come on, big dog. Yeah, it's him. That's him. That was him. Was, unfortunately. At least he's down there. They're down there. Wait, see, wait 20 minutes and then Get a bite. the big one hits, you yes. know? And that's what I want. I, I'll sit out here all day for that. 
Like I guess it's like cat. <clears throat> Every once in a while I got turtles picking at your bait, but sit around and something grabs something on them. Yeah. Well, that fish keeps chewing. He's gonna get a hook in him. You waited your 20 minutes. <laughs> Not easy to hook them. <laughs> Don't get frustrated. All right, guys, we're back here in the kitchen, and today we are gonna take those sheep's head fillets that we caught yesterday and turn it into imitation crab meat. Not imitation crab meat like you'd buy in the store, but imitation blue crab meat, and we're gonna make crab cakes out of that. Let's see how it turns out. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is marinate your fillets in a salt brine overnight. You're gonna need at least four tablespoons of salt for each quart of liquid. I use three tablespoons of kosher salt and eight tablespoons of Old Bay to give it a little bit of flavor. So here's what our fillets look like. Joseph was generous enough to give me those two smaller fish that he caught so I could do this recipe. And I've got about a pound and a half of meat here. I rinsed it in cool water to get some of that salt off of it and I did pat it dry with paper towels. We've got our fish chopped up. We're going to go ahead and add this to the food processor. Crab meat is really sweet, so you want to add some sugar. You need two tablespoons of powdered sugar per pound, so I've added three tablespoons. You also want to add some cornstarch. I've added one and a half tablespoons. You need one tablespoon per pound. You also want to add one egg white per pound, so I've added one and a half. Let's go ahead and chop this up using the Ninja food processor.
Forgot we had to add some butter. So we're gonna add one tablespoon per pound. This is three tablespoons. Go ahead and mix this butter in and we'll give it a, another chop. I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna get this out of here and get it into the pan. Make sure you coat your pan with butter before you put your fish in there and go ahead and pat the fish down and you want it to be no more than about a half inch thick. We're gonna bake this for about an hour at 175 degrees. We'll check on it in 45 minutes. Let's take a peek in here. It's looking good. I think we're gonna go for another 10 or 15. All right, it's been an hour. We're gonna go ahead and pull this out and take a look. Yep, so this is done. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste. Oh, wow. It tastes like imitation crab meat. That's really good. Uh, the beauty of this stuff, guys, you can go ahead and vacuum seal, uh, freeze it, and use it later for crab dips, crab cakes, or whatever you use blue crab for. Uh, but we are gonna make crab cakes, so let's go ahead and do that. First, we're gonna make our sauce for our crab cakes. What we've got here is one third cup mayo, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, one half teaspoon of hot sauce, two tablespoons of Worcestershire, one egg, and some ground black pepper. We're just gonna whisk all this together. I've got one pound of the imitation crab meat, and I'm gonna mix in three quarters of a cup of panko and a tablespoon of parsley. the sauce and fold it in. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and make up our crab cakes. So here's what we got before we start cooking. We're gonna go ahead and saute these three to five minutes on each side in some extra virgin olive oil. Well, these are done. I'm going to go ahead and pull them. Alright guys, here's the finished meal. I made some potato wedges and some homemade coleslaw to go with this. But I'm going to go ahead and dive into this crab cake. I want to put a little bit of lemon juice on it. That is delightful. So guys, you need to try this recipe. This is absolutely fabulous. This might be my new favorite way to eat sheep's head. I'm sure this would work really well with black drum and red drum as well. Um, and it kind of, I think it could pass as crab cakes. It, it tastes very similar and um, I'm proud of it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. We'll see you on the next one.